In this phone sites review, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about phone sites. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll also make sure there's a discounted link so you get your money's worth phone site. In essence, phone sites helps you launch sales funnels, uh, build landing pages, and create digital contacts as business cards that you can put onto your phone. So if I go to tools and go to contact link generator, so what this is used for is to have all your information in one place. You can put as much in here as you would like to. You can keep stuff private. You can have as much there as you want. And then all of that is condensed into a link that you can then send to people so that they have your information. Once you've got all the information here that you need, you click copy link to clipboard. So now you want to go to the template section on the left here, and then you want to create your digital business card. Now this bit I'm looking forward to quite a lot. And from this point, you have different templates that you can use your link on to send to people. So for example, let's go to digital business card. Okay, so I quite like one of the, I think I'm gonna go for the dark mode. I'm quite a fan of dark mode on my own devices. So I think this would suit me and my brand quite well. Once you're here, you'll have a home page, a privacy policy page, and a thank you page, all of which you want to install on the right here. Hit install now, call it whatever you'd like on the new website subdomain. I'm gonna call this business card new and then install free pages. It'll then take you to this page where you can edit all three of the previously mentioned pages. Let's go on the home page because this is where we can put our link in that we copied earlier. If you double click share info back, this will appear on the right and down here, there'll be an option to paste the link in that we had earlier. And people can also send us their name, their email and their phone to us so that we both have digital copies of the phone itself, which is very useful. I think having it on paper or card can often be quite bad. D having it digitally saved into your phone, you're more likely to find it because you can search for it and you just have it at hand all times. Now, what's brilliant about all of this is you can double click on any of the images or any of the text and change them as you go. So let's click on this image, click here, click upload, and I'll upload a picture of me from my computer. As you see, I've just chosen a picture of me editing. I like this because it's simple and it just gets across what I'm able to do. Now we just need to go over and change this text. Now something you need to be wary of is that it's going to be highlighted in white and on certain pages. So make sure you're aware of that. Don't get confused. You just need to change the color here. Once you finish, don't forget to change the text back just so that it shows up properly on the page. What's really good about this side as well is that you can put your number in here and you can change this to not necessarily be call me. It could just be like schedule and appointment. Exact same with text me. You can change this to message me and the phone number again, keep it there, keep it simple. Now, of course, if you do change the text to these, you have to make sure that the actual link matches it. So if you don't want people to text you directly, you want them to go to a different page, you'd have to copy a link in here instead for them to be directed to that page rather than your phone number. Same with schedule an appointment. If you want them to go to a calendar, you'd have to make sure that that link was there instead of the number. Now, if we scroll down a bit, we've got these 12 different apps here. Now, I don't use all of these. And of course, for the sake of this, if I'm being an editor, you'd only want the certain relevant ones. So we can immediately get rid of things like custom link because we've already copied that in. Website, we can get rid of for now. Probably get rid of things like TikTok, Twitter, I think anything on this road. And what's brilliant now is you're left with a nicer design. You've got just the websites that you would want to use. These are just the websites that I would personally use. In fact, I'm going to go back into this and I'm going to get rid of the emoji. Now, of course, if you want to add your link, same as we've done before, click on it, add the link. And the more you scroll down, the more you can change. So obviously, you'd want to change this to be about yourself rather than just the basic text. You also want to go through each one of these and make sure that the links are correct. Okay, so now everything's looking a little bit more the way that I would want it to be. You've got the profile picture, the text, these have all now got links. I've changed these to be a bit more suitable for the kind of content that I would make. Changed the about me section to also be a bit more personal. And something I didn't show previously was I went to the thank you page and just added the profile picture there for consistency. And then you've got your privacy policy page where of course, like you would before, you can click on it, change certain bits where you need to and give your official privacy policy that links to your work. This is ultimately what the final uh, business page looks like. So, and the last thing as well is I've just updated the QR code so that it is something that actually leads to one of my own websites. And that on the whole was phone sites. I really enjoyed using it. Uh, I, it was very simple to get into. Once you'd broken the back of getting all of the information in in the contact link generator, everything was actually quite enjoyable. I really like the tutorial video that they give you as well. Uh, just to help streamline the whole process and getting me through just bits that I would like maybe didn't know or maybe couldn't find. I love that it is basically just 
clicking and dragging and dropping uh, in a more efficient sense. You really can customize every little bit to make sure that it's tailored towards your business. And if this is the blueprint for how other sites are going to work on these kind of things and give people easy access to creating this kind of content, then this makes me very happy and hopeful for uh, more projects like this in the future.